Hello and welcome to another video from Tracy of Constantine Quilts in Australia. Today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on my CC Tri-Arc Rollers, which is short for Continuous Curve Rollers. I have five different sizes. The largest one is we'll do a five inch square or a grid. There is a four inch, a three inch, two inch and a little baby one and a half inch CC Tri-Arc Roller. Today I have just got a nine patch here that we quickly made up, made out of three inch squares. So I'll be using the three inch triarc and just for something a little bit extra we're going to slip in a couple of design options using the one and a half inch as we go along. Now with these rulers, um, the reason why they're called triarcs is that they provide you with both convex and concave curves and and um, that are three inches long and then on each end you'll notice that there's these larger ones and that's actually the uh, the exact right size for the hypotenuse of a three inch triangle and again both a convex and a concave curve so that you don't have to twist your arms up around the foot of your machine with a circle or an oval template so just for something quick and easy you can do uh, continuous curves on squares and triangles using the same template. To get around this little nine patch that we've done, we simply, I'm going to do um, a, a couple of different designs, not just a straight, simple, continuous curve. Is you just line, put the needle down where you want to start and just use the template to guide you to the next intersection. Now I'm going to go back the other way to create a pumpkin seed. And aim for the intersection. So the ruler is there simply to guide you to each intersection of your piecing. The piecing isn't perfect, all you're doing is aiming to get to the next point and you can slide your ruler to make sure that you get there. Now just for something different, I'm actually going to add in just a little design option down here with the little one. And um, that will be the long side. So we're going to come into the centre. another pumpkin seed up to the corner and can you see that I don't have to put the template on the opposite side of the foot because I can use both curves to get me where I want to go.
here we are all finished with a nice little design on a nine patch using the continuous curve templates.